what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, I got something in my eye. How's it going, folks? We are starting the day off at my least favorite store on planet Earth. Menards. Some of you guys don't have, you don't have Menards back home, do you? You're lost. This place, the only reason why, I, I know I, every single time, and I'm probably going to say, it, every time I come here, I'm like, you know what? We would we would take an extra five, ten minutes of driving to go to like a Home Depot or a Lowe's. But you know, let's say five, ten minutes of driving, so we spend an extra hour and a half in this store that absolutely sucks. But the thing is, the only time this store is really, really bad is anytime you're buying lumber, anything in the lumber yard, you might as well just cancel anything else you have for the rest of the day, because it'll be an all-day event uh, just to get somebody to help you find pieces of lumber. But our goal today is to buy materials for a boat blind for duck hunting homemade we've never built one before and we're gonna try to build it as cheap as possible we're gonna make it out of pvc try to make something wow i just about slipped and died oh, damn it i could have sued him. try to make it as cheap as possible so we're gonna try to make a duck blind we looked up a couple things online no one really had one that we liked everyone makes like the scissor type one and they're okay but i really want something that covers my head a little bit and has a little bit more um and more function with like a flip down top and whatnot we want to make this thing super legit but try to do it on a budget by using PVC. So we don't really have a guaranteed plan with this. We don't have oh, like, PVC pipe. oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have like directions. We are literally just gonna buy a ton of PVC pipe, elbows, angles, a couple things of conduit, bunch of glue, and we're gonna try to construct a duck blind and then eventually go take it hunting once season opens back up. But okay, there's all your angles. Okay, here's all your PVC. How cheap is PVC by the way? Is it cheap? We're gonna try to make this thing and it's supposed to be super, super removable. I mean like not even a single pin or bracket or literally we should be able to pick this whole thing up and take it off the blind, or take it off the boat and then put it right back on the boat. And that's how we're gonna design it. So it's like, you don't need it. You literally can go chuck it in the yard. You need it, you put it on, you go to your spot. Um, it's not really made to be traveled with either. So, okay, what did we decide? We decided the piece of conduit has to be, I think three quarter, right? Say big money. And you shot my nose. They got a good jingle, I'll give them that. Never that. You never heard that? That's a good jingle. Here's conduit right here. They got it. That big long daddy, huh? That looks about right, no? Oh yeah. I don't think I think three quarters gonna be too too uh wide for our bracket. Oh, yeah. So there's already four brackets put on this boat for a, a line that you could buy from the store, but we want to try to build something better. This is what I'm I don't think we should go any less than three quarter. I mean Not very sturdy. Let me see if your pipe fits in my pipe. Like a glove, buddy. I think this is gonna be sturdy. Dude, I was almost thinking that hat, or where was it? That one, one and a quarter inch. Whoa, you want fat daddy? I'd still I mean, like that's, it to be more sturdy. Bro, that's not the deal. That's, that's a soggy noodle. That's like a third of the cost of the PVC itself. <laughs> Elbows or a contractor pack, 10 per pack. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. You like that? Yeah. Let's get, we'll get three, three of these packs. 30, can you get a 30? Yeah. Here we go, now we're talking. Oh God, that's it. That that's looks it. ocean approved right there, buddy. That is it. So that would that should rotate, right? Yep. I'll just buy them all, I guess. This is definitely excessive. It's got, it's got to be excessive, right? Okay, are we missing anything? I think we're good. Shoo! We made it back and ready to uh, well get to building. So the boat. Why I have three boats in here now? I, I need to quit buying. Them. I need to start selling boats. I need to start giving away boats. This is my new one though. I can't give it away. This is my nice. I probably should sell this boat. I really like it. It's a super super nice bass boat. I used it once this year. I'm just. I love Johnny's. You know why? Because that thing's nice. I mean, look at look what I've done to it. Look, I just I can't keep anything nice. I like John boats. I like John boats. I like. John boats because you don't have to be gentle with them. I just like to do whatever. And so I really should probably sell this boat. This one, I really should downsize. I love it though. She's a big, she's a big mothership, but I really should probably downsize at some point. But anyways, the boat we're building on is this guy, which is the new Duck Slayer 3000. This boat right here is what we're building it on. So there's already some mounting brackets right here. One there, one there, there, there. We're gonna try to like, let's say this is our piece of conduit, right? Piece of conduit is gonna go like this and you're gonna have four of them 
And then we're going to build a structure that we literally just set down. And there's your blind. And you set it down and you're done. And when you're done with it, you can take it off and throw it in the woods for all I care. But that's pretty much the plan for this thing. So we're going to get everything kind of unloaded and laid out. So we just bought an excessive amount of materials, hoping that we got enough. Uh, we didn't want to run low or anything like that. And we'll try to start kind of drawing it out. Once we get a decent idea of what we're thinking, we'll uh, give you guys an update. So stay tuned. All right. So after about 10 minutes of discussing, trying to figure stuff out. So this is going to be the first bar and it's going to set up and hold it up about right like that. That's your first bar. So we're going to cut this. So we're going to need, uh, we put marks on here right here. So we're going to have supports that shoot down, supports that shoot down and we'll measure those later. But we're going to make a cut here, cut here and put T's to build this first pipe. And then this skinnier pipe is going to go through that pipe and that's going to be our hinge for the flat. So we're building the front first. I think that's going to be the most complicated part, especially like elevation wise. So let's go ahead and cut this pipe and put the T supports on it so that we've got support and then we don't have any bendy noodles. This is definitely more complicated than I thought it'd be. Like not, it's hard to get specific measurements the way we're building this thing. The problem is most people probably build it and then mount the brackets after yeah. to fit. And we're trying to build it to fit into the bracket. How easy is it to, we probably don't want to move the brackets. We're not moving the brackets. Nah, 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 we're not moving brackets. Let's get the cut. Like that, and then like that. And this. Now, take this sucker. So this thing will be floating like this, and then those will run down. So it's good. We're getting somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. Why don't we just start long? So we're gonna need to cut the conduit and these. Let's just cut those now. Yeah. And the end, and then measure how much our supports are. Cause we'll just have to cut everything. Mm -hmm. As we go, we'll just shrink the whole thing down. Yeah. If you were a piece of conduit, how tall would you be? We could just start off by cutting the fourths. See, so we're 10 that, foot, so two and a half. That two, and two, and half. two and a half. I think, I mean, yeah, you can't go taller sure. than two and a half. So we yeah. might as well just do two and a half. <laughs> Safety first. Barely. Why isn't this working? This thing's got to be better than that, right? The thing is, I like sparks. Close enough. One, you can put a bolt on the other side and it'll be a little wobbly. Or two, you can run the bolt through the conduit. If you run it through, you're gonna be able to take it out as easy. If you don't run it through, I'm guessing you're gonna have a little bit of this. Hopefully we got some good drill bits. Well, let's get to drilling. I didn't do anything, but that was just a lot. So look at that, that's a sturdy pipe. That, not as sturdy, but I think it'll be hopefully sturdy enough. So what we had to do is we ran another hole through that, bolted that in, and then ran a screw so this pipe physically can't be removed unless you just undo that screw and then you can take it out. That keeps the side to side movement down. This one we got really tight, so I wish they all turned out like that, but we got one, two, three, four. They're definitely cut too high, uh, definitely too high, but that's gonna start. So now we can go back and resume what we were talking about with this guy. So in theory, I guess there was another pipe on the end that's gonna sit on top of that. Yeah, I didn't guess we didn't account for the deck being taller than the back, huh? So yeah. you got a little slope. I mean, that, that gives you good representation of what it's gonna look like though. Oh about, yeah. About like that. And then we'll have a flip down panel here. Force that shoot down. The whole thing's gonna be shorter, but then you're gonna do the same thing on the back side, but the back side's gonna go up higher and then over you. Now that the supports are in, I think we just need to uh, we need to cut it to length and then put our down riggers on so we can at least get it set, get the right height, and then start piecing the together. So
the year old flip top. I feel like this is working for some reason. I feel like it's working. The hardest part about this is knowing how tall to make it, how tall to make the flip, because like, how do you know how long to make the flip top? Because if you sit down and try it, it's not gonna be right because the height's not right. So how you just kind of start guessing. I think you just build it enough to where when you stand up, you're shooting over it. It's probably belly button, right? Or like waist. Belly I mean, the higher, the better. Because the higher it is, the smaller your flap has to be. The smaller your flap has to be, the less weight it yeah. is and the, hard, the easier it'll be to flip down. So yep. you want it as tall as it can be without it being in your way when you jump up. Yeah. Okay, let me grab a gun. <laughs> so although yes, to stand up, it's about right. If I'm looking, I can't see my decoys. We're gonna need to drop it some. You're not gonna want the back lower than this. No. So, but what if the 45 carries it pretty high and we're like, yeah. oh yeah, it work. Let's do that. Let's, let's build the back rail next with the 45s that shoot out, All right. see where that lands. And then, cause you're gonna have to build, you're gonna, it's easier to build your flap to land on the roof than it is to build the roof to land on the flap, right? Cause the yeah. roof don't move. I would just build the roof how we want it and then build the flap to cover the rest of it. All right, let's get working on that. We've been doing good. We ain't done bad. We ain't, we ain't really messed up much. We also, we forgot to put the support over there, so we had a real short one for a minute. What we've been trying to figure out is do you build an A-frame style where they both meet in the middle, or do you have one side on your back go a little bit further out and have a smaller, I like this idea of a smaller flip down. Since it's PVC, I think the smaller your flip down is the easier it's gonna be to flip down. Flip, 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 okay, because it's a little less play. So we uh, we just cut this down four more inches. I don't know what the total length of it is, but we'll figure, once we're done, I'll, I don't, actually I don't know what I'll do. It's like, I almost feel like I should need to write a recipe. I like, you know, you go, here guys, here's a recipe for today. I would like to build plans for this, but I don't know what our plans are. We're just, we're winging it. You just take lots of screenshots and you can build something similar. I will tell you the price once we're done with it. Um, I'll add up what we have to return. So this, we cut shorter, so we need to probably drop, I guess if I have my marker, I'll, I'll mark it and then cut. You think two inches below that or one? Do you think would be sufficient? Let me grab my sparkler here. So I'll mark it here. We, we've been debating on this for like an hour. So we're just like, just do it, it'll be fine. <laughs> try to kick it away. Ah, I, I try to kick it away from you. Ooh, I like it. Could do it with the three quarter if this doesn't. It might be too wide. You could try it with the three quarter. What we're trying to do here, folks. So right now we got one of these going. We're trying to find a way to support it without running crossbars to the other side. This bracket was for a handle, but if you secure this, maybe not with this piece. I probably shouldn't do a lot of work on this piece. I mean, this could be my tester, but and then you'd you'd run up a T right here, and it would sit right there, and this thing shouldn't run any side to side, so it'd keep it from doing that. So. Let me try it with this. If it works, we'll use it longer. Better, better than nothing. I mean, you could always, you could always do your electrical tape strap right there too. Yeah. Fatten it up a little bit. When you have three quarter, but you need one inch, you make it one inch. That that makes it a lot sturdy. I love that. I, lo I love how like just not ocean approved that is. I love it. We gotta figure out how far we want, and these are. 
three quarter. Yep. I mean, do you think that's too much? Do we need to get the middle roof or where we yeah, kind of yeah, want yeah. it? I'll right, set so first. Yeah, or that. Too tall, too short? Too tall? Yeah. And that's a pretty small window here. I don't know what happened down there. Oh, the boat got wider. Yeah. Big gap. Big gap guy down there. Small gap guy here, which is actually fine because it'll cover Lucy. Lucy's going to be up front here. Shoot! All right, well, we didn't film anything in the last five, 10 minutes or so, but we're getting her situated. So you got your flipper dapper here, and then we built a temporary, well, actually, that's permanent, but slightly temporary support right there. So that way the roof stays up. So the idea is your flapper comes down, we'll put a bolt or a pin right where Zach's hand is, that'll catch it. And then when Zach starts seeing ducklings fly, he just goes, Whoosh! And that needs to be glued in for that reason right there. And then he jumps up and he can shoot them, okay? It's not gonna be that loud either, but that's the idea. So go ahead and go ahead and stand up and act like you're shooting. Exactly, they didn't even see it coming. So um, this was our little flipper, like I said. A lot of this needs to be glued, um, like our temporary support, like this support needs to be put in. Lots of just little stuff, but you, you're starting to now, you can really visualize the function of the blind. I mean, from here, the whole thing's gonna be grassed in, tarped in. We still gotta paint all the pipe. We still gotta glue all the pipe. I mean, it's a lot more work. It's cheap though. We're talking $150, folks. Pretty cheap. I'm, I mean, it is fun to try to do. Now that you do it once, you're like, oh, I could build this thing again in like two hours. But instead, it's gonna take all day today because it's all new. We're going through trial and error. We're dealing with the fact that the boat goes, and so it kind of make the whole blind a little, so we had to like shorten up a couple sides. So, anyways, it's coming together. So we're just gonna keep on ripping on it and try to get basically the function that you saw, but get it all secured up, bracketed up, and that's pretty much it. I mean, after that, we're ready for paint and some tarpage and some camouflage, and we're ready to hit the, the marsh and start killing some ducks, so stay tuned. Well, blind configuration complete, ladies and gentlemen. We got, look at this thing. Oh, hang on, do the limbo. Look at this. Come back, we got supports where it sits down just like that. You got your viewing window, you throw it up, you shoot, but none of it's glued together. So we know the second we get out there, it's gonna come crumbling apart. So now let's get to gluing. I like that. Nice and quiet. So soft, quiet clothes. Also, because I like shanked myself. Um, but she's glued up and ready to go. We got to give, give us one more demonstration here. Bam! And that won't probably be that loud because you're gonna ideally. Take this thing deer hunting. You think? You think deer hunting? <laughs> Thing is, you could pop it all out. What if you got? I don't, a T post might be too thick. Something that these can slide on. You can use it anywhere. You can use it anywhere. Like ground blinds. What I'm saying. Yeah. Like, you could, besides this, this is the only stationary aspect of this whole thing, uh, but that can just be popped out. But you could pick up this whole thing, and if you had one, two, three, six stakes, you could technically set this whole thing on the ground, and it'd work as like a permanent blind. So, anyways, that's not for today. That's, that was an eight hour session, uh, but we got her, and it looks better than expected. I mean, it is. That's a duck blind there, folks. I was, it seems a little bit of camo, a little bit of paint, a little bit of grass, um, and that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. Is we're gonna paint it uh, brown so that way all the pipe is brown and then we're gonna have to go get some canvas um, and canvas it and get some grass and zip tie and make this thing look like freaking bush that's the plan but anyways it's turned out so much for not having any plans I mean it took a lot of like I mean we probably spent two hours of the day today just literally talking about can we do this no that's not good maybe we should do this yeah I like that yeah let's do that and just kind of working through because no one's made a blind out of PVC that I've seen that's quite like this similar but most of them are just like scissor blinds or A-frame blinds where there's like two that meet in the middle. I wanted that slice down the middle so you can actually see the birds and then you can put grass in between the people. So each person kind of has a, a window, but then the, when the whole thing gets flipped down, it's, it's wide open. And like, it's, that's one thing is like early, early in the morning when it's dark, well, you don't even have to have, you just have it down. You just, you, just, you just leave it down, like sit down. Once the sun comes up and you think the ducks might be seen yet, then you can pull up your cover, but you could shoot your you could shoot your teal at least with this down, and it wouldn't oh. even matter. I mean, because you're gonna have grass hanging and whatnot. So, anyways, 
well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Woo, it's the next day, folks. We are ready to get to paint. So we actually added a couple little pool noodle things because uh, oh, I think I showed you guys that last night. Wow, I, it's been a long day. But we're gonna take this thing apart-ish. I got it unhooked here. That, you're never getting that thing undone ever again. But we're gonna take it off in two pieces. It's starting to rain, which is not good for paint, I imagine. Oh, look at those guys. Bro, what if we could just go shoot on the fire pond right now? Backyard pond duck hunt? I'd be down. So I think we should probably try carrying them maybe over there. Yeah, I'd carry them on that side so it's flat. I mean, that way we're not painting up the rocks because that's not good. So we'll carry it over on in two pieces on that side and then we're going to get to paint, let it dry, and then we're going to run up to the store and try to find material, cheap material to cover it. So they have like stuff like burlap and all sorts of different grasses and whatnot. And so we're going to try to get something super light. I mean, in a perfect world, I really would look, want something like this. I don't know if you can buy stuff like this. I want it super light like that because, you know, PVC is not the strongest. Well, it's strong. It's just not stiff. So you're going to want something that's fairly light. So we're going to go shopping up and down there and see what we can come back with and then hopefully it should be dried put it back on get it all enclosed and basically we'll get this thing completely ready to go take hunting minus whatever we want to put in for like live branches and grass and stuff like that and then we gotta wait for duck hunting season because we're still at least a couple weeks out until we can get back out there and get after so that being said let's get this blind off the boat set it on the ground and get to paint Yeah. Put these on the back side. There you go. Perfect. Let's get the paint. white PVC in this household. Look at that. Well, we got her all camoed up. If we really tried, we would have got some tans and some greens, but we painted pretty much the whole thing brown, and then I found a black can of spray paint um, and ran and made some tiger stripes because I thought and I was bored and I thought it'd be cool. So, I mean, overall, it looks fine. Like I said, it's brown, mud brown. That one looks a little bit better. They should be okay. There's gonna be some spots like on the backside of this pole that's white, but that's the backside of it. So it's not gonna really matter. It should be okay. If we need to touch up some spots later, we can. Rick, what are you doing there, big boy? You wanna go duck hunting? Imagine taking that thing duck hunting. What do you think he would do? He'd probably freak out and start shooting. But anyways, it's painted. Now, I feel like we're living in a cloud right now. Why is it like this outside? Yesterday, it's supposed to be like this. And so I was like, oh, let's build the blind inside. What up, big Ricky? What you thinking, buddy? You want a bush or something? Is there any plants you want to eat? These are all prickly. I can't really grab these. What do you think, buddy? You being good? Well, the plan now is to head up to the town, find all the camo that we want to use, at least like the base of it. And then we got to figure out like, do we use zip ties to zip on like grass looking stuff? I mean, cause you don't want it to just look like a sheet of camo. You're going to want it to have a little bit of 3D effect on it. We're going to go run up to Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's or Shields or somewhere until we can find the camouflage that we think will work for this. Cause I said something ideally lightweight. Burlap's not bad, but burlap just looks flat. If we do burlap, it's fine. We're just going to have to find ways to zip tie a lot of grass to this sucker and make it look good. So anyways, we'll let this dry. Hopefully it doesn't rain and we're going to town. We'll see you guys when we come back with all the camouflage. Stay tuned. Shoo! We made it back. We got the boat hooked up on the mule. We got to get out there so we get some good lighting. But see, you don't need to waste your paint on this backside because nothing's going to ever see it. But we got back from the store. Bass Pro had one sheet of camouflage that we think we can slice and dice and make work for everything. You like that? Yeah. In case you see a pigeon maybe or something, right? I mean, the only part that's not painted is this, which I don't think that's a big deal, but everything else is painted, covered. Oh, oh, who goofed on that? We should have moved that. That's okay. Whole thing still works like a charm. We got it all put back together. Wow, bam. It goes up. What do you think about it? You, you seen a better duck blind before? Oh. I did, for hundred bucks, I feel like it's tough to beat. Now comes the tough part, figuring out how to make it not look like a PVC stick figure. Uh, try to get the material on it. So what we got was some camo netting, this stuff, but it has this yarn type stuff with it. And then we got bundles of grass. We got zip ties, so we'll bundle the zip ties to this to really make it stand out, I guess, and make it not look like a square blob. You want to break up the, what do you call it, the silhouette? You gotta break that thing up so the, it look, you want to look like a bush. Bushes look good, boats do not. Be a bush, not a boat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put that on a t shirt. All right, so, oh, see, I already ripped it. I knew that would happen. Oh, it's connected with metal. Sheesh. Well, this might work. What do you think about it? I like it. You think it'll work? Yeah. I feel like it's not, I mean, long enough. Like, or wide enough. Oh. Do you think that's enough to cover that and then down? I feel like we're gonna It'll be short. Be we'll be wearing a short skirt. No long dresses here. Pull that corner out. Kind of want to 
spread it out like we're trying to make the bed here, you know? It'll be close. You know how annoying that's gonna be to cut? Oh, we yeah. should just bought two. We're trying to save money. This is on a budget build. Cause honestly, as is, it's about perfect for the back. The front, it's probably a little bit long. Dude, you know how long it's gonna take to cut this thing? And as soon as you cut it, I don't think we're cutting this. You cut this. Oh no, never mind. It's tied. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we might be alright. I was worried if you cut it, it would unravel. No. Remember what we were thinking? If we just laid the whole thing over it and just cut a slit, you think that'll work? Gap, we could try it. Assuming your back is up against something, your front has to be the camera. What I would do is I would drape over the whole thing, make sure the front looks mint, cut it, and if the back is short, just go buy another small section that's like twenty dollars and add a like a slice on the back. Yeah. So I think we can do this. Why don't you walk to me and then you'll go back out and around to the front and then we'll climb up on it and pull from the front over. See if this works. Oh wait, hang on. We still gotta cut it in half. Wait, hang on. Am I missing something? No, we're fine. Yeah, you're good. I'm tripping. You're tripping. I thought we were gonna cut it hot dog, not hamburger. I thought we were gonna cut it like that, and I'm going that to the middle of this. It's not gonna cover it. We're fine. What am I talking about? You should have stopped me. I'm talking craziness. Hamburger, not hot dog. Okay, we're fine. So we just need to cut this thing right down the middle. That way. Hamburger, right? Oh no, that's not what I was thinking. What are we talking about here then, huh? I was thinking get it up there and then cut out where you're gonna be looking out of. Okay, but hang on for two seconds. Yeah. This thing's 20 feet long. Yeah. Blinds 10. But it's, you're gonna drape down on both sides. Also true. I didn't factor that in at all, actually. Take like I throw it up there, see how it sits. Okay, okay, then... okay. We're back to hot dog. <laughs> no more hamburgers, back to hot dog. Basically need to go up, try to climb up this side. Oh wow, it looks great. Oh. Oh God, we're hella short. Oh yeah. Oh God, we should have bought two. Oh, we're not even close, buddy. You ain't even covering the back flap. Unless you do what you're saying and just slice it long ways because then you'll free up a foot because you'll have that foot gap. If so you if you uh, if you cut it hamburger, your only downside is it's 10 feet long, which is how long this is, meaning you're not gonna have anything on the sides. That's your only downside. No, I'd cut a hot dog. We're back to hot dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more time. You save this foot gap. You can attach it here and you can attach it up there and leave that open. Yeah, 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 but we're still hella short. Yeah, but it'll get you closer then. Oh, you're, wow, just about to die. What I would do is I would come down till you're comfortable, cut it fairly close to this bar, and then whatever excess you have is what you're gonna gain on the backside, right? Yeah. But you just gotta make sure your front looks good. So mm -hmm. I'd, when you pull this down, you probably want it to be a little bit. You wanna overhang it to some, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yep. Like that. And then I'd just zip it right on, even with on the this bar. on yes. this bar. Yeah. And then curl it back and zip tie it. When you have a foot extra, then you'll slide that foot back and that'll get you. So you're yep. gonna have a little extra in the back. Maybe what you're holding in your hand, we could somehow piece together across you cut it like that and then spin it sideways, hot dog, and then you make your hamburger or turn it into hot dog, and then the back's covered. What yep. are we cutting this with? Scissors? I have scissors. I mean you have a lot extra, honestly. You might be able to slice it and then run it long ways. See this is that's what I was worried yeah, about. Yeah, you're probably gonna want it. You could always add a little, some type of weight. Yeah, and once the grass is on, should it help. Won't. I think it's gonna look good though. Oh, we broke it already. That was supposed to happen. You can cover the motor with like a, just a separate piece of something. Yeah. As long as it gets down to about here yep. to finish, right? And the same thing here. That's it. Oh, yeah. We're cooking how'd with it, something. How'd it come up right Wait, there? how'd that happen? <laughs> Think about that. I like it. I'll go get, find some scissors. Well, we should still cut it while it's up here now, or do you want to redo it? We just realize it's inside out. I just kind of assumed you would attach your grass to this. You're positive? I would think so. You're right, it doesn't look like a net. That looks like a fish net right now. We want it to look like leaves. I just assumed we were gonna put the grass on here, but you're right, it does look better. We had it inside out. Okay, flip it around. You could probably go ahead and cut it since you got it. And just re and then just re-put it up? Yeah. Okay, so I've got these scissors, these scissors. These are goat hoof trimmers, in case you're getting spicy. I think they're gonna cut pretty good. That's what I'm saying. Cut maybe a little bit above the bar. Yeah, you could almost just go like middle of the gap. You wanna go all the way up here? I would just cut it right in the middle. Hopefully we can line ourselves up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, these goat trimmers are the deal here. Give the blind a quick fade, all Straight, wow, no, not at all, but it's good. Well, neither is the blind, so. Also true, <laughs> yeah. also true. I'm gonna have to climb in there and get dirty. Some more work than you'd think. There you go, almost there. Oh, I'll let you finish then. I'll start looking at what we're doing here. So, I need to probably just slice the whole thing though. No? Yeah, in order for the flap to work. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Probably cut this too. Sure. Okay, you sliced? Yep. All the way. 
all the way through. Okay, so we gotta flip it now because we have it upside down. Ooh, here's a magic question. Would you rather have the structured rope on the top or the bottom? Because you could pull it up here if you thought that would be a better way to secure. You just secure the rope to Probably this. Probably would. Like that idea? Yeah. That in the flip front, it too. Huh? That would flip it too. Yeah, that's what, I'm that saying, that's what I was thinking. Pull your rope. Because that would give everybody an even thing to connect to, so then it drapes evenly, at least from the flip. What's hanging down below, no one cares about, right? No. I like it. We're thinking big things now. Does that look right? Through your pocket knife with it. Hold on. Huh? Excuse How'd that happen? I don't know. Okay. Drape that down. You're covered to the deck there, yep, Ish? I'm covered. Oh yeah, that looks good. Good there? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now we got zip tying to do. So we put the rope here instead of the bottom, which will give a really strong thing for this to hook to. Otherwise, it's, you're worried about it ripping through, right? It won't rip through that rope. So now we've got a really secure way of doing it. So now we just got to run zip ties across the whole thing. So stay tuned. sucker oh yeah well we got all the uh tarping on i found some uh, they're actually ghillie suits i try to bind the hole up here we can cut it if you like but there's a big hole for your head there and there's one on the other side these were like ten dollars so we ended up double layering the roof since ducks are up in the air uh they're not usually on the water so you want to make sure that's ultra covered so your back is covered this back side you might be like well what's up with this strap we figured it'd be easy actually to get in and out this way um instead of going through that i mean you can go through that side if you want but this would be another option so we left it open but if you wanted to close it you just pull these things together and you can clip it like that and plus it's your back and ducks shouldn't be able to really see it because assuming the boat's going to be up against some brush or the island or some type of cover go ahead and act like you're about to kill some let me hang on let me get in the front of it hang on let me get up here get me on this thing let me see what the duck pov is take him <laughs> I like the ore, imp improvise, I like it. As good as it looks, it could be totally fine as is. Just like it is right now, it'll work just fine. But we wanna make sure we kill ducks. So we've got some bundles of fake grass that we're gonna try zip tying on just to break up, again, the square. See how squared off that is? We gotta break that up a little bit. So we got some bins of grass there, a couple bundles of grass there. So we're gonna take them off, just zip tie some grass around each pole and then see, cause the more grass you put here, this stuff will rip. Like if I just do that, it'll rip. So you're not gonna put a ton of grass on the back here besides these poles, but the top, you could put a little bit and then the front we're for sure gonna want so i would say let's start with the front that's most important then whatever's left go to the roof and then go to the back if we have we still have more grass left so all the camo draping is on looking good time to grass her up and we should be ready to go take her out in the marsh stay tuned Look at that folks a couple hours of grassing actually about an hour of grassing hour of netting probably let me think 500 zip ties at least some spray paint and some pvc folks and you can be like us and look like a bush this is by far my proudest build moment of the year for sure i'll close it up and then we'll give you a 360 walk around this thing is insane so i think what we're gonna do one modification we're gonna cheat just a little bit we're gonna get one piece of conduit we're gonna wedge it under this under that and we're gonna weave it under and then zip tie it so when we go to flip it you can just grab the conduit because you can see how much floppiness you have. It still works, but a piece of conduit would make it a little more rigid. Also, that adds $5. Not a big deal, but flip it back. Dude, it just, you just disappear. Like, look at the back. The back side looks insane. Look at this. It's insane. I mean, granted, we used, I think the grass, we're not factoring the grass into the cost, okay? Because technically we chose the grass. You could go, we could go be chopping grass right now. We go cut down a tree and brush it up. But the grass alone was probably, I would say the same price, if not a little bit more than the entire build itself. The grass is not cheap. It's artificial, so it'll stay just like that. So if you're willing to invest a little bit of money, you can get some fake grass like we did. We ran out of a certain color, so we used a little bit of spray paint, which actually turned out pretty good. It just gave it a little hint. We had some green. I had brown spray paint, it didn't work. You see pretty much we got multicolored, try to do layers. Obviously it's a little long, but when you want to go to transport and drive, you just do this. You just kick it all in, take all of it, flip it, 
just like that. You're not, then you're not dragging. Once you get to your, like when you're driving the boat, once you get to your spot, then you kick it back up. I, can, I guess I gotta take them inside. We got, oh, yeah. I gotta take you guys inside to show you the grand tour here. Yeah, I guess I'll try to get in from, no, actually I'll try to get in from this window side. Yeah, so, can... wah-bam. So now look, you can walk from one end to another without brushing up against people. And that's why we put this here, cause you'll get shanked otherwise. And so I think we're gonna make that post just a hair longer. So it, cause right now it's sloped, it's down sloped. We did make these movable. Now they're not movable. So if for some reason, this post is in the middle of somebody's way, you know, where they're shooting, then you just cut a couple zip ties and slide it over to the next zip tie and then zip tie it in place. So we made them float, not realizing once we zip tied it, it, it doesn't float as much, but you get inside. See, that's why did I just put that there? Cause I would have just ripped my freaking arm open. Shut this like this. Look at this thing. We got all the grass down here. If this is too much, you can always cut it out. But the idea is, I mean, you want to be able to see, like I can see, see the ducks flying right now. You know, if you need to see a little bit more, what you can do is you can kick this out, kick this out. Oh, hang on now, don't collapse. What's going on here? Why is this collapsing? There, you can level it like this. So then you can see a little bit more. Or early teal hunting, like early in the morning, you just do that. You don't even need the flat. Then you just jump out, just like that. So there's your boat blind, folks. For the PVC alone, we calculated right at about a hundred bucks. You know, miscellaneous bolts and stuff I had laying around. Actually, some of the camo netting I had laying around. But I would say all said and done, if you want it to look just like this, I would say maybe $250. All said and done is what we probably have in this because the netting was about 100, actually maybe 300 bucks. PVC was 100, netting was 100, and grass is 100. I think for that, 300 bucks and you can have this blind. But you don't have to spend $100 on the netting and you don't have to spend $100 on the grass. You can go just get your own brush and cover them and you can go cut down branches and you could have zip tied branches to all these posts and build your own for free. So I'm, it is a $100 blind at the end of the day. It's a $100 PVC duck hunting blind that can fit four guys i mean we can fit honestly probably five with if you wanted somebody up front but we left enough room where we could put lucy's little dog house at the end i'll probably sit here and then you know camera guy can kind of sit right there and we'll be ready to rock and roll once duck season opens back up this was kind of our middle between early season and big duck season project we're like let's get a boat and let's build the cheapest but most functional blind that we could have because a lot of people build you know scissor style blinds out of conduit and they're okay but you don't get this with your conduit, your scissor. You don't, it just comes up next to you, but this is full blown. If it started to rain just a little bit lightly, I'd probably stay a little bit more dry than you guys, you know? And so you got a little bit more cover so you can move around. I mean, look at all the headroom I've got. I'm super happy with this. Super, super, super happy with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode of Beefcake Construction, taking on a duck blind. This is our first ever attempt building something like this. We didn't have any plans. We didn't have any instructions. We just knew we wanted to build out a PVC. We went and bought, I returned 80% of what I bought at Menards. All the fittings, we used like six fittings and I bought like 600. I overbought by a lot. And if I really, I mean, I wish I could give you guys the detail, but I mean, you guys, it's, it's obviously custom to the boat too, but you can see the design of it. You, I feel like if you watch this whole video and you paused it, you can see the overall construction design of the build. And if you guys want to build it, that was the whole idea. I was like, let's try to figure out how to build one super cheap. So you guys at home that don't want to spend a bunch of money on a nice fancy blind like myself, I didn't want to spend any more money than I spent on the boat, but I wanted to build something that's nice. And like, so we got a little access way right here so you can jump into the water if you need to jump out and go grab a duck or grab a decoy or something like that so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video you have to stay tuned for when we actually get to take this sucker hunting probably gonna be another couple weeks or, or so but stay tuned for that if you guys enjoy these building videos let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see us build like a deer blind not on a boat obviously i mean tech, you could but this could access you I mean you can shoot your deer right out of there but like a homemade deer blind like a box blind a ground blind i thought about building one of those out of scrap lumber from the cabin build that's something you guys would be interested in seeing beefcake construction llc take on. Let me know in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys at home enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.